Welcome to Warriors and Sheepdogs. Today we're going to talk about the Charter Arms Off Duty. It's a 38 Special. Ammo we used to test fire it was uh, the uh, plus P was Blazer 125 grain hall point plus P 38 Special. But in the second part of the video, we uh, used Hornady Critical Defense, which is a hundred and or correction, 90 grain uh, critical defense round. It's called light because it has a lighter recoil, but still has uh, some pretty good uh, feet per second. That's this round right here. This round right here is the one we use. Around 190 grain Hornady Critical Defense round. Here's a 125 grain 30, 357 Magnum Hornady Critical Defense round that I carry in my other revolver, which is a snub nose Magnum. Also shot was this Federal 130 grain full ball ammo. Reminds me of old military ball ammo. Shot very well. The uh, off-duty handled it quite well. Recoil wasn't bad at all. It's pleasant to shoot as well as this. The Hornady uh, 90 grain light was uh, quite pleasant to shoot. Very accurate. Very accurate to shoot. I shot a grouping of probably three quarter to one and a quarter inch at 10 feet rapid fire. 38 special Hornady 90 grain and the American Eagle 38 special 130 grain full metal jackets were uh, great to shoot especially if you're going to target practice. Like I said this is tested capable of shooting 38 special plus P ammo. Shot a box of 50 rounds. It was uh, at the end of the 50 rounds myself and my young associates were glad to put this uh, weapon down but it took it all and showed no signs of any wear did not get any loose did not loosen up it was quite uh, pleasant to shoot with the 30 or 90 grain but the 125 grain plus P was uh, pretty uh, pretty rigorous the off duty has a two inch barrel it's uh, of course 38 special plus P Shoots five shots, weighs around 12 ounces. Hammer internal concealed, which is good when you stick it in your front pocket. You can pull it out and it's not going to snag on any jean pocket. There's no hammered snag, it's internal here. It's uh, This one is high polished aluminum right here, and these are areas here. This is high polished stainless steel barrel and cylinder, another critical parts is trigger uh, cylinder release. It's finished in black. It's a very pretty gun. It's very light. You can load it and stick it in your right front jean pocket or pants pocket, and you're ready to rock and roll. It's made of uh, 775 aluminum for you guys who want to uh, want the finer details of this. It's a small packed rubber gun. It retails for $436. My bet is you'll be able to find it for $375. To compare it to a Smith & Wesson's gun that sells retails for over a thousand if they still even make them. This is the Smith & Wesson's, as you can see it's a lot of Smith & Wesson's 357 Magnum, 340 PD, five shot. I put on the the uh, Packmire oversized rubber inserted wood grip to uh, take the 125 grain 357 Magnum round. I shot plus P's out of this and it was uh, it was uh, quite the experience to shoot plus P so I, I put on some bigger grips to shoot the Magnum. As you can see I've carried this for a while it's got a little wear and tear on it but the comparison to these it's basically about the same size as the gun. The original grips on the Smith were similar to this size here as well. I believe I could use a speed loader on this charter arms easier than I could have on the Smith factory rubber grips. 
So it's a great little gun. Uh, next will be some of some of the shooting that's being done by Bo, Bo my next door neighbor and partner in crime. Today we're going to do a, some shooting with the Charter Arms off duty. It's a double action only five shot revolver chambered in 38 Special Plus P. As always in Oklahoma, it's windy today, so we'll have to take allowances for that. Oh, anyway, this, uh, my assistant Bo here is shooting the Critical Defense Hornady 100 and, or 90 green bullet 38 special, 90 green FTX Critical Defense made for this type of uh, light uh, revolver. Uh, I would say it's considerably lighter than shooting the regular plus P ammo. It uh, goes at, uh, at uh, 10,037 uh, feet per second. That's just fast enough to get that uh, round operating. 